We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Detroit Tigers and the Chicago White Sox. Ready now, Victor Reyes. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. One and two. One ball. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. Rounded weakly to the left. Moncada fields it cleanly. And there's one down now. Here's Cameron Maben now. Head to head passed with Dallas Keuchel. He brings a more than respectable 357 batting average. Weak grounder down the line at third. Throw is not going to be in time to get him, and somehow he's going to wind up with an infield single. The designated hitter, Miguel. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. They slap the tag on him, and he is out at second base. At the plate now, Miguel Cabrera. Eight. A ball and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Striding into the box, Leury Garcia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A 1 1. Hit down the third baseline. Reined in. And a good throw gets him one gun. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. Two hits in 13 at-bats in the series so far. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Tim Anderson waits on deck. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. Now the three and two pitch. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Nine at bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Now the one and one pitch. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the big first baseman, C.J. Crone. Now the one and one pitch. Misses down below the knee. No score here as we play inning number two. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Garcia is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Next for the Tigers, Nico Goodrum took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Up next for Chicago, Elo Jimenez. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Now the one and one pitch. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 
the three two pitch is a swing and a miss that's strike three so here's Jose Abreu he's hitting just above the banner 300 mark on the season coming into this one two and one the counts of the White Sox first baseman And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Three and two now. The bouncer to the left side. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Edwin Encarnacion now comes in 0 for 9 in the series so far so looking to turn things around in this one tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes the 2 2 is a wave and a miss he struck him out. set for the start of the inning and into bat next it'll be Jamer Candelario in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now fouled away Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So digging in now, Austin Romine. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Third inning, no score to this point. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. In comes Mazzara. He makes the running play. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. Ball and two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. of the third now and up next the switch hitting catcher Yasmani Grandal the 2 1 three ball. you know when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally let's see if he can get on and good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third Grandal on at first nobody out Had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. You know what that ugly swing tells me right there? This guy's got his good slider work, and that thing's got depth and bite. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt for strike three. Ready now for the White Sox. Danny Mendick. Just one for ten in the series coming in, so we look for better results here today. The 2 1 home is in there for strike number two. So a full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's nope. ball four. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in the getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The White Sox are still looking to break into the hip column here. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. 
Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And it's fouled away. Count all the way full to the White Sox center fielder. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Fouled off. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Right back to the mound could be an easy two. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Next up for Detroit, Victor Reyes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. A full count, 3 and 2 to the Tigers' center fielder. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. And Mendick will be there. There's one away. Stepping into the box, Cameron Mabin. Cameron. One out, nobody on. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Line towards center field. Garcia is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So two outs now for the Tigers in their half of the fourth, and that brings in Miguel Cabrera. A bouncer up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Stepping in now, Jonathan Scope. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Fouled away. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up on to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So here's Yuan Moncada. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Two balls and a strike. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Digging in now, Tim Anderson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And that's going to land foul. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Line toward the gap in left center. And the White Sox have their first hit of the game. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The batter, the left fielder. So now to the plate, Eloy Jimenez. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory. In and he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. 
Well, with no outs, you can afford to give up a single, but you can't afford to give up a three-run homer. He just caught too much of the plate. Now he's back to the drawing board. No outs, and the inning is already an ugly one. Standing in now, Jose Abreu. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Now this one's crushed. Left field line and foul, though it had the home run distance. Oh, that's frustrating right there. He was right on that fastball, took it deep, just couldn't keep it fair. How many times have you seen it? There's a good chance he's punching out right here. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jose Abreu becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. One and two to the White Sox catcher. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Here's C.J. Crone now. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. And gone. An absolute bomb. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets him going. Into the box, Nico Goodrum. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. One run on three hits and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Stepping into the box, Austin Romine. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Takes this the other way to right. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. The batter, number 14. At the plate, Kristen Stewart. A shot down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. Popped him up. Abreu moving to his left. And that retires the side. In now, Nomar Mazzara. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he fouls this one off. Ready to deliver the one and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Digging in, Danny Mendick. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the 
Payoff pitch home. Hit on the ground to third. To second for one. On to first. And as Ernie may have said, it's two for the price of one for the Tigers. The fielder, two away. So base is empty now after the double play. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Leori Garcia. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Here now the 2 2. This is lined to left. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So Yuan Moncada has a chance following that two out base hit. Now batter, the third baseman. Into the box now, Yuan Moncada. Liner towards second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in, Victor Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ready for another right chance? Team. Cameron Maben. He's Cameron. one for two in this one. Maybin. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Headed after it is Mazzara. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Next, next to the plate Tigers. for the Tigers, the DH, the Miguel Cabrera. He Miguel. singled his last time up. Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. Count even at two and two. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Shoots this one over to first. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Rony Garcia enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 51. Rony. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Tim Anderson. The 1-1. One, one. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Now One out for Chicago here in the sixth. Oh, and up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Again, another foul ball. The three, two, one more time. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now batting. So here's the, the slugging first baseman, first baseman Jose, Jose Abreu now. Oh, He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Outside, 2 and 1. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The count now at 2 and 2. Now the pitch. Outside and a full count, three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. He'll begin things here against Dallas Keuchel. 
even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. So that'll now bring up C.J. Crone. He's working on a one for two game so far. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Garcia is back, and he'll get there to make the now play bad. for route number two. Nico. So striding in, Nico Goodrum. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 2. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3 to 1 our score. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. John Schreiber gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 71. Last half of the seventh here, and digging in is the veteran DH, Edwin Encarnacion. One and one now to Encarnacion. Grounded back up the middle, fielded cleanly, and that's the first down. And here's the switch hitting catcher Yasmani Grandal. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Three runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Schreiber has over 40 innings on his line so far. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number. Over 1.5, so he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base pads, unfortunately. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track, and the runner will have to retreat. Oh, Digging in, Danny Mendick. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Ball taken there. Two and one now. From the stretch. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything. So he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The one two. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. The one two. That's popped up. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. In now, Johan Moncada. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2-2. And it's fouled away. This is pulled into right. And this is down for extra bases. And with two outs, this might get them all home. He pulls into second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Jordan Zimmerman trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. To the plate now, Tim Anderson counts a ball and two strikes to the White Sox shortstop. That 
misses, and we're even at two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Reined in. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth, and next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Jimer Candelario. Slow roller left side. Mokata has it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Digging now in and looking for more, Austin Romine. A fly out and a single for him so far. This is line to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Now batter. Number 14. Stepping in now, Kristen Stewart. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hits are even right now at five aside. Again, he sends it out of play. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Victor Reyes. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready to deal, here's the 2-1. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. The three and one pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Count still full. Three and two. Five one our score as we play the eighth. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Mazzara's under it, and that retires the side. of inning number eight set to go and up next the exciting Eloy Jimenez a little bit outside two and one three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter well ball three here hey and the White Sox would love to start it in and get that leadoff guy on they'd love to get a leadoff walk right here and this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's that on base to kick off the home eighth. Okay. Two and two count. Here it comes. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge Top pitch for the on a full guy. count. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jose Abreu becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Yanked on the ground down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Throw won't get him. Now back. The catcher. Yusmani. Standing in now. Yusmani Grandal. And that misses two and one. Rondahl with a three and one count now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. And that'll play run number six. It's now a six to one ball game. And the throw in gets away from him. The the right field. Into the box, Nomar Mazzara. Grounded to third. This could be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired.
Jay Spry comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Now at the plate, Cameron Maven. He's working on a one for three thus far. A bouncer to the left side. Moncada gloves it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. And that'll now bring up the veteran Miguel the Cabrera. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the one and one delivery. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Fry is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Last breath for the Tigers. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Three and two, full count. Line drive to left. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. And tonight's comes to a conclusion, six to one, the final. The White Sox took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Dallas Keuchel earns win number seven on the season as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Victorious White Sox, six runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Tigers, one run, five hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and five minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.